right, all right. All right, let's get this going. Let's get this going. Uh, one second, y'all. One second, one second, one second. One second. Let me know, am I good on the audio? Am I good on the audio? Am I good on the audio? Let me know the audio is good, y'all. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. All right, audio good. Let's check a look at it. All right. First and foremost, let me give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. We do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Amen. Peace and blessings, y'all. Peace and blessings. You see the name of the title? Yes, it went down. If you're on Patreon, if you're on www.patreon.com slash Deacon Sakari, then you're getting all this footage early. And then you're getting a lot of footage that will never see um, <laughs> YouTube because they will strike flag or copyright. So uh, I'm going to bless y'all with this Patreon exclusive from this last past camp. What was that last Saturday, a few days ago? City council member. He's running for Congress. He's marching about the jump shot mandate. I think he's for it. I'm not sure if he's for it or against it, honestly. Actually, I think he's against it. I think he's a, actually a congressman that's against the mandate because it says Mark, his shirt says March for Freedom. Freedom of the right to choose not to have the jump shot or not, right? So uh, without further ado, y'all, let's get right into it. For the for, mandate, yeah, but you don't but... march for black people. I marched. I so marched. You getting... Jump shot. It's more important than, than the, the race. I had to, um, as you guys can see me, shalom, y'all. I just got back. It's cold in the house. I'm bundled up like it's wintertime. But um, so I had to do some editing. Every time he said the thing, every time he talked about the thing, I, I had to edit it out and say jump shot. So let's rewind it, y'all. Yeah, no. You march for the COVID for, mandate, uh, yeah, but you don't but march for black people. I march. I so march. So you for getting a jump shot? It's more important than, than the, the rape, rob, and murder of black people and them getting well, gunned down every 28 hours no, in the that's streets. Why, that's why. No, that's why I'm running for Congress. You're running for Congress. Yeah. Pop a purse, popping mollies and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches, we be giving them the gospel. I keep 12 Sakari members with me, we be moving like apostles. True, some sisters is dead traps, hair wraps, but you still a thought though. The church don't even know the truth, they can even tell you you an Israelite. And the Arabs selling you all the switches and the malt liquor or the Ishmaelite. You can show a nigga slave ships in the Bible, still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then a the nigga gotta find out what them missiles like. Hey, come talk to me. Come talk to me. Put, oh, yeah, put your bags down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's. But you guys see that though? You guys see that? You guys see they'll march. They'll march for a jump shot mandate, but they won't march for Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Let me show you guys this real quick, right? Let me show you guys this real quick. This is who we're dealing with here. Let me show you guys this real quick. Um, what's his name? Paul, Paul Guzman, Seattle Congress. Here we go. Let me share my screen real quick. I want to show you guys this devil, this congressman. This is him right here. He's running for Congress. He's Congress candidate. This is him. He thinks he's smart. My name is Paul Felipe Glumez. I was born in Mexico and have lived in Seattle for 41 years. Now, we 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 had to muscle it out of him. We had to say, okay, you're born in Mexico, but who are your parents? And he said they were Caucasian Europeans. 
I, so he's not he's not indigenous Mexican Aztec. He's an Edomite. I'm running for Seattle City Council, position eight, in order to stop the transformation of the city that I love. Into so there you have it. If you guys want to know more about him, I think he's also a college professor. I've seen some breakdowns where he was going in. He seemed very intelligent and intellectual. That's until you run into a Hebrew Israelite. So let's continue, y'all. So that's what we're dealing with. Yeah, but I don't know if I agree with that because there's some people, no matter if they, if you take jump shot, you still get to be on the upper echelon social status. You're not going to get gunned down every 28 did hours. You, like you we got jump shot. Absolutely not. Well, I neither did I. Okay, but I'm saying, how does how does a, a jump shot mandate make your condition <laughs> of your people equal to what the fuck is happening? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> YouTube hates us so much. And this play that's going around that they're calling the jump shot is such a fucking, excuse my language, I'm sorry. It's such a, it's so much of a joke, you can't even say it without them trying to strike your channel. That's how you know something's, it's 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 a joke, it's a hoax. You know what I'm saying? So he asked me, I told him, how are you marching for the jump shot, but you don't march for black people? Then he asked me if I got it, I said, absolutely not. He said he didn't get it, but I'm saying he's saying that this jump shot mandate is equivocal to um, what's going on with black Hispanics and Native Americans in the world. They're saying they're trying to force us into slavery by making the jump shot a mandate, just like they forced you guys into slavery. What the hell are you talking about? That is that is nonsensical and a false equivalent. A jump shot mandate as opposed to black Hispanics and Native Americans getting enslaved, raped, robbed, murdered, oppressed, subjugated, and violated. So let me just rewind that just a little bit. Salakia. You still get to be on the upper echelon of social status. You're not gonna get gunned down every 28 did, hours did like you we got jump shot. Absolutely not. Well, I neither did I. Okay, but I'm saying, how does how does a, a jump shot mandate? Make your condition of your people equal to what the fuck is happening to my people. I did not say, I'm not saying it's equal. But well, you said there, you you said you guys been dealing with it for a long time. Now they're about to globalize what we're dealing with. Well, what they're calling, what they're implementing is global slavery is what I'm talking about. Oh, global slavery. Hardcore. Hardcore. Slavery. Now, I will say this. I'll give him props because he's educated about the Illuminati, the secret societies, the oligarchy, the plutocracies. He is educated about that to be a Congress candidate. He's not going to get elected because the secret society don't want you speaking out about that. So he, he he is educated on that, on the dark side of America and the implementation of the world agenda. And depopulation. They want to get rid okay. of about three quarters of the depopulation. There ain't no way that you finna sit up here in Congress and talk about depopulation. You're out of here. Population, if not more. You seen that's the Georgia Guidestones? You seen the Georgia Guidestones? That's that's one of it. That's yeah. one of the symptoms. And now, and it's the British Empire. It's the old British Empire in its modern form. They created eugenics. They created the environmentalist movement. They created all this. I want you guys to listen closely because I didn't catch it. But this is why I love my dear beloved brother right here who you see on the screen, Sergeant Yatab. Oh, I love him because sometimes my ears are not big enough. I got small ears, so I can't, I don't hear everything an individual says all the time. But he's saying that the people that rule the world that are implementing this wicked agenda, the oligarchy, he said, is the British Empire. So I want you guys to remember that because watch what he says later on in the dialogue. Stuff. You, you believe know. in the Bible? Yeah. Do you know everything you're saying is in the Bible? Yeah, it's, but it's prophecy. See, that's it's a the, prophecy. That's but there's a, but God does not necessarily 
God is above prophecy. He's so there. Prophecy. They might give you a dispensation. You never know. If, if the righteous rise up, God might give you a dispensation. Where's the, what's the name of your church? I don't belong to any church. I was raised a communist. I, I, I became a Christian later on. What's your on. ethnicity? Huh? What's your ethnicity? What is your ethnicity? I'm a Mexican, uh, born in Mexico, grew up in Chocolate City. <laughs> you know what Washington, that is. Washington, D.C.? Yes, but not not now. It was... Who's Mexican? Who's indigenous Mexican? Aztec? There's many, many different groups. You know what I'm saying? Is your mom or dad? No, dad? They, they're all... They're all uh, European white. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. He knew it. He caught it. He yeah. caught it. He but, caught it. He but caught the it. important thing is, give me Job I never identified with that because oh, I because I was in Mexico and then I was in. So he's saying, even though his parents are Edomites, he never identified with being Caucasian because he grew up in Mexico and then he later grew up in Chocolate City, also known as Washington D.C. So here we have it, because we are the salt of the earth. When the white man, white people grow up around us, any nation for that matter, Samoans, Asians, <laughs> Ethiopians, and when they're even if they're not in our neighborhoods, they still want to be like us. But if they grow up in our neighborhoods, they're gonna cast off their their uh their pedigree and try to cleave and join unto us. Let's keep going. Washington, DC, and I grew up in that. I was in a, a black Baptist church for a while. Have you marched for freedom for blacks? I was in the middle of, of that period. No, I'm asking you a question. I actually, I actually was close to the, I was actually close, believe Have it or you not. Marched you won't believe blacks? it, you won't believe it. I was actually close to, no, no, no. <laughs> Meg no, It's a little more radical. The, the oh, security, Mexican. no, the security director for the Black Panthers. I was, I, was, oh, okay. I knew that guy. He lived with my mom. Mm -hmm. But they had an agenda too. So he was close with the security director of the Black Panthers. And this is why this congressman, I didn't look at the elections, but I know he didn't win. I looked at how much money he raised and everything. And out of all the candidates, he was probably the least favored, probably because he 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 has an affinity to, to Blacks and Hispanics, you know what I mean? And he, he talks about the secret society Illuminati, and maybe that factored into him being the least favored out of all the candidates, right? But he said he was, uh, um, he had a relationship or he was cool with the, the head of security of the Black Panthers. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, he was an FBI informant. That's what I later found out. Have you marched for Black people, though? Huh? Have you marched for Blacks? Have I marched for Blacks? I don't know. I was, I... That's so messed up, man. That's so messed up. You're marching for the jump shot mandate. You're marching because there's a mandate for the jump shot, but you won't march for blacks who are getting gunned down every 28 hours, unarmed <laughs> by white cops. You don't care, man. You could say you grew up in Mexico, in in in, in Washington D.C., and you have an affinity, to, but but you don't. You don't, man. Stop. Continue. I had an agenda too. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Had an agenda. I know he was an FBI informant. That's what I later found out. Have you marched for black people, though? Huh? Have you marched for blacks? Have I marched for blacks? I don't know. Damn. I was. I, I. I had. I'll tell you Damn. a funny story. I'll tell you a funny story about marching. Damn. I went to a high school, and uh, they had a hiking club, <laughs> and, uh, and you hiked for blacks. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. I'll tell you. <laughs> they did tell me. I, I, oh, I. I went to school. I went to somewhere. They had a hiking club. So you hiked for black people. Get your ass out of here, man. This is why we don't accept none of you devils. And this is why you um you camps that be accepting Edomites, man. You guys, man, the, the devil always gonna turn his horns. When that time comes, Yahweh Shai, who the Lord ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he prophesied about race riots. So you can't say they don't read the New Testament. These black Hebrew Israelites don't read the New Testament. No, the New Testament talks about race riots. Christ himself. Tell you a funny story. So I was 14 years old, and the height, the, the senior said, "Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go from Washington to Baltimore at night." So me, well, I showed up with, you were with a, a little bit. Huh? I showed up with a, a young guy my age, black, and and this guy, and then his father picks him up, and me and this, 
this young kid and me are walking to Baltimore and then police show up and says, uh, is this a civil rights march? And I said, no, we're the, we're the Western High School hiking. So he, he won't even hike for black people. He said they were hiking just to be hiking. The police showed up and said, was this a civil rights march? And they said, no, we're the Western Valley Hiking Club. This is how this is how less of a damn that you you care about black people <clears throat> or brown people, as you say, you try to steal their identity. The, the Western High School Kiking Club, which ended that night. No, okay. <laughs> but that, but those are the kind of experiences I have. But I never, okay. I never. But you I, never march for blacks. But the but point you is, march for a COVID mandate. No, I'm not marching for a COVID mandate. <laughs> Look at, get a shirt, get a shirt. Yeah, no. You march for the COVID for, mandate, uh, yeah, but you don't but march for black people. I march. I so march you for. Getting... A... Hey, look! Don't it look like he got a bulletproof vest on under that? You can't tell me that's not a bulletproof vest. I got one right now in the closet. COVID mandate. Look at get a shirt, get a shirt. Yeah, no. You march for the COVID for, mandate, uh, yeah, but you don't but... march. That is a bulletproof vest. He's out there marching, and he's scared while marching. <laughs> for black people. I march. I so march. You for getting... Jump shot. It's more important than, than the, the rape, rob, and murder of black people and them getting well, gunned down every 28 hours no, in the that's streets. Why, that's why, no, that's why I'm running for Congress. You're running for Congress. Yeah. Who are, so you said they're trying to globalize this mandate because Not they got the a mandate. Agenda. Forget the mandate. But it's a, totali it's a totalitarian that, society. The mandate was an instrument. Not, and you said not globally. Give me Job 9 and 24. Not talking. Watch not what talking. the Bible says. Read this. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Yeah. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The what? The, the earth is, is given into the, the hand of the wicked. wicked. Do, you do you agree with the text? Do I agree with the text? I think good will win out in the end, not the wicked. But, but, but right now it says the earth is ruled by the wicked. Right, because, because God wants us to rise to the occasion and defeat the wicked. Oh, really? Yeah. So how are we going to do that? Well, that's the whole point. Give me Revelation 2 and 26. If you're a real right. Christian, if you're a real yeah. Christian, we're about to see right now. We're going to see if you're like every other no, wicked. I'm not a real Christian. Okay. I'm none of the above. We're going to see if you're just like the rest of these wicked people, because all people are the devil. Yes. That's right. That's right. We're going to see if you're just like these wicked crackers. Read. It's Revelation chapter 2 verse 26. And he that overcome it. You know when it has red letter what that means? That means that's Christ speaking. Read. Do you want power over other people? No. Okay. And he that overcome it and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. To him will I give power over the nations. Christ promised his disciples and his saints that if they overcome into the end of the world, they will get power over the nations. Right. And you don't want that promise in Christ. You know why? Because your white people already have the power. Right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That, that scripture right there, it will cut every single Christian on earth. That scripture will cut every single Christian on earth. You ask them, do they want, especially because most Christians are white. You ask them, do you want power over other nations? They're going to lie because they know they're homicidal, insatiable maniacs. They're going to say no. And then I'm going to read that promise of Christ that he says you will get power over the nations if you overcome in the end. And they're going to say they don't want it. And the reason is, is because they already have it. This is how you know God's only coming back for a certain ethnic group of people that has the curses of Deuteronomy under uh, over them. Disenfranchised, marginalized, oppressed, vexed, perplexed, and subjugated. <clears throat> it's not the white people that have the power. Who rules the world? The oligarchy. Remember, remember, y'all. He said he just told. He just said it's not the white people that have the power. But if you guys were listening earlier, who did he say was ruling the world? Who did he say? <clears throat> Come on, y'all. I want to know if you guys are listening because I'll be roasting people. You be listening because I'll be cussing people out or you be listening to learn.
Who did he say ruled the world when he first walked up? Because now he's saying it's not white people that have the power over the world. Exactly. The British Empire. Exactly. The British Empire. There you go. That's what he said. Now he's trying to, because that's what white people do. They do not like to get fucking held accountable, man. They don't like that. They do not hold themselves accountable. That's Zechariah 11 and 5, who slay my people and hold themselves not guilty. Shit. This is why we've been trying. We always say we've been looking to find one sincere white person. We've been saying this for 14 damn years, man. One sincere white man to just be honest about what the hell they did. Let's continue. Oligarchy. End of the world. They will get power over the nations. Right. And you don't want that promise of Christ. You know what? Because your white people already have the power. Right. It's not the white people that have the power. Who rules the world? The oligarchy. The oligarchy. The oligarchy is the a, a society that's ruled by the rich and opulent. No. It is. No, it's a hereditary network that goes back to ancient Egypt. Well, what's a plutocracy? What's a plutocracy? It goes back to Babylon. It's, it's, is an oligarchy the same as a plutocracy? It's not a race. I didn't say a race. I said it's the people that rule a society. They have been ruling for a long time, and it's their time has come for the people. Are they are are the oligarchy white? Yes or no? <laughs> no, they're not. They're not necessarily white. They don't. Are the uh, is the oligarchy Caucasian. predominantly Caucasian? That race has nothing to do with it. I'm asking a simple question: Is the oligarchy predominantly Caucasian? It's a mixture. It's, it's... Look at your top. You guys see Sergeant Your Top put his hand in the air. One thing I know about Sergeant Your Top is, is that uh, and that's the thing too. A lot of you young and up and coming camps, I love you guys, man. You don't have to be Sakari. You don't have to be GMS, IUIC. You don't have to be any camp to make it to the kingdom of heaven. The prerequisite is for you to be an Israelite, keep the law, statutes, and commandments. But if you're going to do this work, y'all, you got to have order. I see a lot of new camps popping up, really out of order, not holding posts right, everybody talking at once. But one thing I know, when my sergeant has his hand in the air or when he wants to interject, it's going to be a PowerPoint. He's going to take your head off your shoulders. So I see Sergeant raising his hand. I'm about to give Sergeant the mic because I forgot he said the British Empire. But Sarge's going to get this devil lion, which is he's the father of it. So when it says the world is ruled, ruled by the wicked, who is God talking about? But the wicked... The wicked, this is the wicked now, not necessarily the wicked that was, and not necessarily the wicked that's going to be. So there. Well, the Bible says that the white man, the Bible says that the white man will be ruling the world until Christ comes back. Right. Well, Go ahead. it ain't I'll, the uh, white man. That's for sure. No, it is a white man. Just, just a second ago, you came up and you said they're trying to take us back to a totality and still. No, they're trying to eliminate. Right. Now, you said they. Who's the they? The oligarchy. But you said it was Britain. 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 Well, Great Britain is the center of it today. Oh, he's double. <laughs> Got his ass. So first he tried to say it wasn't the white people that had a rule in the world. Then Sergeant came and cleaned him up. Then he tried to change it back and say, oh, well, yeah, Great Britain is the center of it. What is it? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Let me just let this play. So I don't want to get angry. <clears throat> oh, it is a white man. Just, just a second ago, you came up and you said they're trying to take us back to a totalitarian state. No, they're trying to eliminate right. humanity. Now, when you said they, who's the they? The oligarchy. But you said it was Britain, Great Britain. Well, Great Britain is the center of it today. Oh, he's double talking. That's good. That's good. See, this is why I got a sergeant who listens better than I do. No, the British love it. Why do people be lying so much? But uh, somebody said, what kind of parade is that? Uh, they're marching against the uh, the mandate, the jump shot mandate. And that's what he was doing there. Probably to get his Congress, his congressional views up. Uh, the water, Judah, Israel. Greatly appreciate you, King. How about some stuff? Let's continue. It's still the same thing. It's just, and what they're trying to do is destroy the 
destroy America, because they're afraid. They're afraid of the power of Let me say, let me get this out of the room. Let me say they want us to destroy America. Who's the they? Oligarchy? Yeah. And who's that? Illuminati? Well, they, it's presented that way, but it's, it's secret. But those are really all white people, right? It's not, it's not no black and Hispanics, though, right? Yeah. Is it Arabs? Is it Africans? See? Oh. But it's not a race. Confounded. Confounded. Brother, you're confounded. Why don't you just be honest, brother? The people are the ones who are rape robbing and implementing all the wickedness but on the earth. There was a lot of rape robbing before they were, before they were, but, but they were hanging around in trees. I mean, come on. Show me, show me, show me, show me. You had the same thing going on all over the world. Name, name a couple instances that are even equivocal to what the white man has did. Well, no, they, it's not equivocal. And I'll tell it's you why. It pales in comparison. Because you, you, you guys are the most wicked. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because uh, something good happened in Europe that was turned into tremendous evil. What's that? It was the scientific race. And I'll explain. Because up until that time, China, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. Pseudoscience. Let's, let's, no, no, I'm not talking about pseudoscience. I'm talking about the scientific technological development that became military. Now, I'll explain. I'll explain. Give me a chance here. Up until that time, the most advanced civilizations in the world were in India and China. Yes. That was the most, and in the Islamic world as well. In, in, um, uh, in, in. Now, I want you guys to hear this, please. He's saying that the reason why the world is so messed up is because white people got a hold of scientists that can make atomic bombs, right? But that was early, that was mid-1900s. I want you guys to remember that. Then he said that's when they started colonizing and subjugating the whole world. I want you guys to remember that. Oh, my goodness. The Bible talks about a forked-tongued devil, man. And that's all called that's all Edomites who are like this. Well, watch this. And he 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 thinks he's a debater because he's a congressman or a city council member. But he done walked into the wrong lines then. We're not them friendly bruise, man. Right? But watch this lie. He said, let me just rewind it real quick, please. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. So Okay, let's go here. The most advanced civilizations in the world implement all uh, something good happened in Europe. So he says something good happened in Europe. Something good happened in Europe. He's gonna say they learned how to make bombs and military weapons. But they 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 took advantage of that and started subjugating and colonizing, right? Watch this. That was turned into tremendous evil. What's that? It was the scientific race. The scientific renaissance. So let's take a look. Let's Google that. Because he may be teaching us something new here. So let's see. Scientific renaissance. For those of you who are just coming in, this is this is him. This is him giving his uh uh candidate candidate speech. But let's take this, let's look at the scientific renaissance. Let's look it up. Let's take a look at the time period. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, okay, so he might have been right. He might have been right. <clears throat> but this isn't when they learned how to drop, how to create missiles, though. So let him explain himself. Let him explain himself. And I'll explain. Because up until that time, He's trying to go into the history. He's a lightweight, he's a lightweight historian, you know. Let's, let's, no, no, I'm not talking about pseudoscience. Okay. I'm talking about the scientific technological development that okay. became military. Now I'll explain. Uh, I'll explain. Give me a chance here. Up until that time, the most advanced civilizations in the world were in India and China. What? Yes. That was the most, and in the Islamic world as well. Wow. And but I'll, I'll say this though. Now, all you guys watching, we can use that. Can you learn from the devil? Absolutely. The, the Bible says that the, even the devils believe and tremble. <laughs> but we can use that because that actually proves our point, y'all. Now, look, the scientific renaissance, right? That's when they started uh, really advancing 
in their technology as it pertains to mi the military. And what did they do during this period, y'all? 1441, they went and kidnapped everybody. Uh, they went and started kidnapping us from West Africa. Then they started, came over here in 1492. Then they started colonizing the Northern Kingdom over here. And they started grabbing us, taking us in slavery. And then uh, what? I'll let you know in a second. So, uh, <clears throat> So we can use this, absolutely, yeah. And guess what? Not only can we use it, I'm going to. It's part of the prophecy. You guys were, Revelation chapter 20 says, you guys were bound for a thousand years, meaning you weren't empowered to the point where you could subjugate the whole earth. That goes right with Revelation 20. And then it started around the third or fourth century AD, all the way up to the scientific renaissance. Ah, we gonna use that. You understand that proves our point and prophecy. And then you guys started really going around rape, robbing, and murdering the whole world. What did the Pope say? The Pope said that they can conquer any territory that's not Christian and non-white. So uh <clears throat> um let's continue. Salakia. Uh where are we at? Anyway, but but See, the devil will give you some truth, but then he'll keep lying to you because he's saying that white people didn't start subjugating and colonizing until this time right here. But he's lying because the Greeks and the Romans were so-called Caucasians. So he still gave us a little bit of information, but he lied. This wasn't when white people started colonizing. They started with that with the Greeks and the Romans. So let's get let's not get that twisted. Let's continue. Hold on real quick. In, um, uh, in, in Spain and in Iraq. Wait a second. Iraq. So uh, uh, India, India has a caste system. You know what a caste system is? I'm not getting, I'm not getting to that. That's advanced. I, I'm not getting, I understand To that. believe that you're born to be a, a low-life slave? I, you got it, I know that. But but the point is, what I'm saying is that, that India was economically more advanced than Europe, so was China. Okay, we're talking economics now. But what happened is this military power became the basis of colonialism and the Spaniards and the Portuguese and then the British and all of that, they went around the world and they subjugated and you know what happened after Give that. Give me Daniel chapter 7, man. Give me right. Daniel chapter 7. No, I'm going to educate you real quick because you, 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 have, you have the wrong history. You have history, meaning your forefathers told you a lie in that story. He said, he said that India and China were the most advanced nations most during... Most advanced economic nations. Economic nations because you said when they started, when, when Europe got a hold of the scientific tech, technological for, uh, for military, they started going around and uh, colonizing right. all the countries and subjugating the whole world. Yeah. Subjugating the whole right. world. And they're still doing it. The, but the white man didn't start that in the early 19th century. I'm gonna right. prove I didn't that say too. it was the early 19th century. I said it was in the 1400s. So he was right and I was wrong. I was wrong there. I didn't, I, I misunderstood what he said. He said the 1400s, that is the scientific renaissance. He's correct. But white people were enslaved and colonizing 1700 years before that. So let's go into it. I meant 1400s, 1400. Okay, well, I can show you them doing it 1700 years before that. Daniel chapter seven, verse one. This is the book of Daniel chapter seven, verse one. Yo. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and vision of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. So Daniel seen a dream about all the world powers colonizing, conquering, and subjugating the entire earth. Watch this. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night and beheld the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea and four great beasts came up from the sea. I'm gonna prove to you that, yeah, you're right. India was definitely a complex society, but that, that it wasn't just them. Go ahead diverse one from another. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. That's the Babylonians and the Syrians. Go ahead. 
I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, and it was lifted up from the earth, and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. That's Nebuchadnezzar. Go ahead. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it raised up itself one uh, on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it. That is the Persians, the Elamites, which, which would also include East India, South India, North India. After this, I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. That is the Greek Empire. Were the Greeks white? They were from the north, yeah. They were, These they Greeks were, from, were white? They were from the north. They were a migration from the north. So you tell me, Alexander, you know Greek was the lingua franca during the first century AD? Yeah, no, no, I know. The Bible so you know what that Greek means? Greek, yeah. They subjugated the whole world because they made their language the language. Have you ever heard of the, Ale the Library of Alexandria? Yeah. They conquered all these nations, they took all their literature, and they put them in the, Ale and the Library of Alexandria. Burned, subject, the white people. It didn't take till the white man figured out how to make a missile to try to subjugate, rape, rob, and exploit the whole world. Read. After this I beheld, lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. Dominion. Keep going. Now watch this. The Romans, the ancient Romans, they were white too, right? The ones that nah, crucified they were, Christ? They were mixture. They were mixture. The ones that crucified Christ? They were mixture. Okay, go ahead. After this, I saw in the... You see that? And then, see? More lies. So he said the Greeks were Caucasians. But the Romans weren't Caucasians. <laughs> More lies. It's called the Greco-Roman Empire. Full of, full of, full of Edomites is what the Targum says. Night vision, and behold a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. it. And it had 10 horns. I considered the horns. So the ancient Roman Empire, if you want to say it was mixed, predominantly all scholars would agree that they were predominantly Caucasian descent. Right. And they had reign and rule and authority over the whole earth. Okay. So white people have been insatiable since they came into their okay. existence. Right. Okay. What I have to tell Don't worry you, about it. We what I have to things. tell you, what I have to tell you is, it's a cultural question, not a racial question. No, it's, it's all about race. It's all about race. It's all about the race. The use of race. It's, it's the use of race. It's the use of race to, to deny a universal principle of humanity. It's the use of race to deny a universal principle. What is the universal principle? We're human. We're all human. What does the word human mean? Hue means colored, man meaning man. You're not a man of color. Okay, the universal principle of humanity, with however you want to define it. Okay. And the universal is this your God? Is this your God? The God of the Bible? Is that your God? Uh, let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, tell let me explain. Me. We are all born not with knowledge. We are not born with an. With, Said certainty does not, is not what teaches us. We are born with a power of judgment. That's what makes us universal. I'm asking you, did the now, God of the Bible important. did the God of the Bible say it was okay to is subjugate it, another nation? Of people? No, of course not. Then why do we go and kill all the Canaanites because, and take their land? Because right. we live in a world. <laughs> Listen, man. This is why you shouldn't mix the Bible with politics. Because he's saying it's not okay. God's not with subjugating other nations. Well, he said that the Israelites can have heathen slaves forever, pass them down from generation to generation, told the Israelites to go in and subjugate and conquer the Canaanites, and said that they would be above all nations. Isaiah 14 said they would put uh, 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 those in captivity who's capti who, the, who they were in captivity to. And then the last book of the Bible, Revelation 2, 26, says that the, who, the Israelites, the saints, the real Israelites, they would have power over the nation. That's subjugation. Man, just put the Bible down. It's not, listen, if you're not a Hebrew, Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, put the whole Bible down. Okay, let me explain. We live in a world where people are 
Jeremiah 51. We live, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. We live in a world where oligarchies rule, and they rule by dividing. Can you monarchies. show me that in the Bible? Nobody knows. Why you just do the Bible like that? Let me show you. Who cares about the Bible? So my my point is Jeremiah fifty one and twenty one. Last last scripture for you. It's not race. It's 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 Jeremiah chapter fifty one verse twenty one. Watch this. And with thee will I break in pieces the horses and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will. Twenty. It's like thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. God said his people. Are going to be the people he uses. Remember, you said we have to rise up to the to the wicked. He said he's going to use his people to destroy all these other nations. So you talking about a principle of humanity? Now, gonna, that's not biblical. I'm going to leave you with this. Real quick, one last question. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I de- destroy kingdoms. So God said his chosen people, the real Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He gonna use us to destroy all these other ethnicities. Okay. Right. That's right. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. If you look at my name and I'm going to give you my card, I wrote, I wrote a book called. The- so not only is he a city council member and Congress candidate, he also is a an author. He's a book author. He wrote a book about how. I, I can't hear what he said, but it's something about Africa. White people always want to tell Africa the world what we need to be doing about Africa. Proper development of Africa. Yeah, the proper development of Africa. Who the hell are you to t- talk about the proper development of Africa? Some guy there. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And I'm going to tell you right now, these sick people are f- in the end are committing mass suicide. And Africa is where the hope is. And that's what I'm going to tell you. Hold on. I'll take a card. You said you do believe in the Bible, right? I'm not religious. You just said you believe in the Bible. I said I. I can't wait to put this on YouTube. I'm gonna say, Paul Glomez. Paul Glomez is a liar. <laughs> because you said you were a Christian when you came up here. That's exactly what you told. That's what I'm titling this. You said you were raised the Catholic. Paul Glomez is a liar. I have to be very honest with you. Oh, yes. so he has to be honest. That's, oh, he said he lied. He said he lied. See that? This is why we say all Edomites are liars, man. Caucasian race, just a race of liars. He said, I have to admit, guys, I lied. I mean, we knew you were lying the whole time. Fuck, you thought you was fooling. I'm an honest person. Give me Revelation 21 and 8. And, and and there goes your politics. Every every year, every couple years, and every four years, they give you president uh, presidential candidates, presidential hopefuls, these politicians, uh, 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 these congressmen, and they just get on stage and just lie to the people. And he just admitted that they all lie. Revelation twenty one and eight. You said you're honest person. That's what. That's what I'm telling you. Revelation twenty one and eight. Go ahead. It's Revelation. Chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the adulterers and all liars. And all what? And all, all liars. liars. And all what? All, all liars. liars. And falls of what? All, all liars. liars. Shall okay. what? Shall have their part in the lake which burn it with fire and brimstone. You can't be going around here okay. saying you believe in the but Bible and lying. This. I will say this. I belong to no I know society. what it is. You're you're thinking that it's not a lie because you're saying it to some no, it black some black and Hispanics. You can no, lie no, to no, us. No, 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 no. But when I, you I, you I, can't I, lie I, to your, your your white your white cohorts, your white proponents, but you can lie to us because we're just the niggers in the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then why would you lie to us? Yeah, because I've been because I do consider myself I'm sorry, I do consider myself a Christian. <laughs> I'll explain. I'll explain. Let me explain. I do consider myself a Christian, but to consider yourself a Christian, you have to believe that Christ rose and so forth and so on. And I have issues with that. And, that, and that's, that's why. Basically, he's saying he don't know if he can call himself a Christian because he 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 doesn't believe Christ rose from the dead. So he believes in some of the moral compass within the text of the Bible, but he just doesn't believe that Christ rose from the dead. And that is something you have to believe in to become a Christian. That's what he's saying. Is it, somebody coming back to life is not 
uh, far fetched. All right, it happens all the time. I'm not a Christian, okay. but I consider myself a Christian. But I, I have, you know, it's, it's one he of has doubt. Things. He has doubt, and he doesn't have faith. Why right. not faith? At the end of the day, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. That's right. By the, right. who the world calls Russia in the Bible known as Magog. You understand? That's right. So that's America's okay. judgment. That's right. Next so question. What's up, man? I got your card, man. Did you have a card? I don't have a card. Can I, can I get back to you? Yeah, uh, YouTube, YouTube. Sakari Israelites. Sakari Israelites. You don't think Jesus is God? No, don't worry about it. We got next, next. Who's got next? We got next. What's up, bro? I got a question. Why does Jesus have a card? Oh, he had a good question. He said, why does Sakari Israelites? Somebody give him that. He said, why does Jesus have horns on his head? That's not Jesus. Step on, step on Jesus. Step on him. Step on Jesus. Step on Jesus. Yeah, so that was the end of that dialogue. Man, this last Saturday was so lit. I mean, we had debate after debate after debate after debate. It's all on Patreon right now. Patreon.com. I'll put the link in the chat. Again, some of this stuff can't go on YouTube because YouTube will flag copyright strike. So www.patreon.com slash Deacon Sakari. Go there and enjoy that um it was good y'all it was good uh you know most high let be leading people into the lion's den some of them get slayed but there's also a lot of edification and that's what it's about so unfortunately y'all today i gotta end this live stream early we usually go two to three hours i got some things to do um i hope y'all enjoyed it uh tomorrow we got biblical prophecy where the bible says that Russia's the Russian missiles will be impossible to intercept. I can't reveal to you what scripture yet, but we're gonna go into it. And then CNN did a video on it already, so we're gonna marry that with the Bible. I'm gonna end this by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, and we do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Until next time, Shalom, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Pop a purse, popping mollies and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches. We be giving them the gospel. I keep 12 Sakari members with me. We be moving like apostles. True, some distances, dead traps, hair wraps, but you still a thought. The church don't even know the truth. They can even tell you you an Israelite. The Arabs selling you all the switches and the malt liquor or the Ishmaelite. You can show a nigga slave ships in the Bible, still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then the nigga gotta find out what them missiles like.